my god, I'm scared. Go, 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 go. Ready? Yeah. Do I look like Harry Potter yet? My little businessman is back. It's not going well. Ooh. Yeah, I made that look cool. Yeah, boy. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> Oh, hello team. Good morning. So today is Tuesday. It is my typical filming day and I've been filming something very funny this morning. It's already up on my channel. It is me creating the, well recreating should I say, the Harry Potter movie poster and I basically just seen what I'd look like if I was a boy. So it was very interesting. I'll insert this little clip here of me having a little giggle at myself. Do I look like Harry Potter yet? <laughs> This is so weird. <laughs> oh my god. Right. But yeah, I've just finished taking the photos for that. My room is fully trashed because that's where I took them. So I'm going to start editing them now. Be sure to go and check out that video to see how they turned out because <laughs> it's just a bit of a bit of an odd one, isn't it? But I really enjoy making them. I sound a bit snotty because the council have been cutting the grass near us and oh boy there's a lot of pollen in the air right now. This week, what have I got on? Oh my god, we're going to go ape this week. So this vlog is going to be amazing. I recently treated myself to a GoPro. For this week, we have a pretty much office-based week to begin with, but then, as I'm sure somewhere in the thumbnail says, I went to go ape with my boyfriend. It was one of my birthday presents, so I bought myself a GoPro earlier than expected. I knew I was going to buy one this year, but let's call it an early birthday present. Um, so I bought myself the GoPro Hero 7 Black, but I got it in the white edition just because I like to be weird so i'm gonna test that gopro out this week and i'll show you it but yeah this week should be good i'm excited to go to go eight later i've been working on some poster prints that will be going up for sale on my website very soon i have mock-up prints here i just printed them out on my printer to see what they look like and yeah right i now need to import the photos that i've just taken for the harry potter video onto my laptop and see if they're all right i hope they are because i've I've melted. I've fully melted filming that. A considerable amount of time has passed since that last clip. I totally forgot I was vlogging because I was doing the Harry Potter photos, but they're actually turned out turning out quite well. I just need to add some texture onto their skin because obviously they've got mud and stuff all over their face. But I'm probably going to do that tomorrow. But yeah, I've been sat in my office doing that. I've also been doing the posters for my website, I've got three now? Four. <gasps> I've got four. I just need to like finalise the colours of the one I've got on my screen. That one, actually like, I might as well explain it. So the posters are going to be up on my website. So just alicethorpe.co.uk forward slash shop. And I think they'll be around like £12 each. They're going to be a three size. I'm going to like double check obviously because I've not, I need to like find a supplier and stuff but um 10 percent at least i need to work out again the profits and to make sure i'm breaking even so 10 percent plus of the profits will be donated to diabetes uk because my boyfriend if you didn't know has diabetes he has type 1 which means he is insulin dependent basically he has to inject um insulin multiple times a day he has to do finger pricks to check his blood sugar levels and he has to just be very aware of what he eats and stuff because it is kind of like life or death if he doesn't in doesn't inject his insulin so yeah diabetes uk are obviously working to find easier ways of managing it hopefully one day a cure so i've decided that yes this year's donations for my kind of merch stuff is going to be diabetes uk last year i did um mind i did little posters for sale and we raised like 175 pound i think it was for mind the mental health charity so this year i knew i wanted to do something and it's worked out really well so yeah i'm going to donate a percentage of the profits from the poster sales to diabetes uk if any of you guys are interested in not sponsoring i don't know if that's the right word but donating money in another form or just like you're not really bothered about a poster but you'd happily donate a pound or something let me know because i can work out a way of you sending it to me and then me sending it to him that's absolutely fine with me just let me know um obviously no obligation but yeah so that's what i've been doing today and i feel like my eyeballs are gonna fall out of my head because i've not left the house and I've spent all day looking at a screen, but for some stupid reason, I've just cancelled my gym class because I cannot be bothered. I think my problem is I need to go to the gym in the morning because I 
I just get lazy. But, oh, another thing I was gonna talk to you about is contraception, woohoo. Love being a girl. For those of you who don't know, I have the implant. It is in this arm. You can see the whole, like, the scars. So I have three little dots and then a separate dot. This implant that I have in now is my third implant, hence why there's that many holes, because it's been put in and taken back out a few times. For the past six months, eight months, my periods have been all over the place. So I went back to the doctors to speak with them and see if there was anything they can do and their conclusion was that like that shouldn't really happen after me having like this is the obviously the third implant I've had and I've had it in this one in for like two and a half years I think so for it to all of a sudden not work very well and mess up my periods doesn't make any sense because previously I've had no periods at all which has been amazing so I went back to the doctors yesterday and the conclusion is that I'm having my implant taken out and I'm having the marina coil fitted. Um, I'm presuming I never got that coil in the first place because when I was 16, obviously, I don't think they recommend the coil for like younger girls, but now I'm 24. Um, my doctor said it's a good fit for me. I would never ever remember to take medicine on time, so I can't have the regular pill for that reason because I wouldn't be protected because I know I would forget. And also I'm not allowed a certain hormone of some sort, I can't remember which one, because I have migraines. So it does limit my options for contraception and stuff. So I am going in to the doctors on the 8th of August to get my implant removed, which I'm not gonna lie, not looking forward to. I've had it obviously taken out twice before, um, but one of the times, despite, like it didn't hurt, it never has hurt, because obviously they numb you, but I'm just a panicker and last time they had it like last time they took it out it took them a little bit longer than expected so i just ended up laid on the bed panicking so once they've taken the implant out obviously i'm not protected against getting pregnant so i'm gonna leave it for a little bit not have any unprotected sex don't be stupid alice um no babies here anytime soon no thank you and then once that's settled i am gonna have the coil fitted um my mum has it and my friend has it as well and they both really liked it um they said that they had a bit of like period like cramps when they first had it put in um so that's one of the reasons i didn't want to have it put in straight away like i'm gonna be like bruised from them taking the implant out i don't want them to be poking my arm and poking my vagina on the same day I don't think I could handle that <laughs> so I've opted to have a bit of a gap in the middle and then they said they'll do a pregnancy test beforehand just to make sure obviously but yeah so at some point I will be booking in for the marina to get fitted it's not the first time I've had my vagina out to a stranger to be checked I have had STI checks and stuff as everyone should um, and I had like swabs and stuff the other day just to check this whole period thing wasn't anything sinister which it wasn't so yeah, um, if anyone is worried about vagina related things, I'm not going to say I'm not worried because it's not very pleasant getting your vagina out for a stranger, but they don't care. <laughs> they really don't care. Um, they see many a vagina, so yours is nothing new. So yeah, I will update on that. I just thought I'd let you know. Hello, good morning. It was an early start this morning to take my boyfriend to his job interview. I'm currently sat outside of the, is it Hull Beach? campus i don't know but i didn't realize the uni had two campuses um like my old university the uni of lincoln so we're like really really far away from the actual main campus of lincoln we drove here this morning and now i'm just sat in the car park i could go and find something to do but i don't know where i am and i'll just end up having to drive back so i was like well i brought my laptop i brought my ipad I'm going to attempt to motivate myself to do some work because so far I've spent half an hour just on my phone. But yeah, that's that's today. I don't really know what time we'll be getting back. His actual interview should be starting now. Apparently he went on like a tour of the campus or something. Um, literally. I can't believe I lived in Lincoln for three years and I didn't realise they had two campuses. Oh, and also he bought me a meal deal, my boyfriend, as payment, or part payment anyway, for driving him here. It was an hour and a half long drive and it was such a long journey like sometimes car journeys like that go quite fast but this one was just so boring although i don't really have a meal deal because like an idiot i didn't pick up a drink so that's annoying um but i got cheese and tomato 
pasta. I like how it says no mayo. Why would you put mayo in cheese and tomato pasta, please? A berry medley, which is just strawberries and grapes. Twix, which I've not had in about five years. <laughs> and some spicy knickknacks. Let me know in the comments below what your Tesco meal deal of choice is, or just meal deal of choice, what I always end up in Tesco. Yeah, I guess I don't really want to do this. I need to do the subtitles for Monday's vlog. It is now Wednesday and I haven't done them because um, I ended up with a migraine on Wednesday, on Monday, so it was a miracle that the vlog actually went up. So I'm gonna hotspot my phone and try and do these subtitles. I do have visions of my boyfriend just coming up and scaring me though, so I'm gonna lock the door <laughs> and let's get productive. My little businessman is back. Ooh. Said it went well. Fingers think, crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Hello team and good morning. It is Thursday today and I have actually had such a productive morning. It is currently just afternoon. It's four minutes past twelve. But I woke up at eight today and got back got in my office for nine. And I'm gonna try and do that as often as often as I can. I'm gonna be more strict on myself because I don't work very well in the morning so I just lay in bed for longer than I should and then that means I end up in my office really late at night like I still do the same amount of hours I just do them like later on in the day but I want to actually spend my evenings doing stuff for me you know like my work-life balance is all out of whack so I'm gonna try and do that more often I've actually just written well I started it last night but I've written this month's newsletter and it's about getting your work-life balance back so if you aren't signed up to my newsletter you will have missed that one that's just gone up because obviously that's just for existing subscribers and it goes out on the first of every month but if you would like to subscribe to my next newsletter i'll leave the link to my website in the description and then you just put your email in i don't spam you because i don't like spam emails and two i don't have the time to write that many emails so you just get one every month at the minute but on today's agenda i need to finish the harry potter video hence why i've got makeup on and i also need to go and return a very large array of parcels so i've got that pile here i ordered some little drawers to put my sunglasses in like clear drawers from amazon but they're not big enough to like fit my sunglasses in which is the whole point so i'm returning them i'm returning the clothes from the harry potter video and there's just another few parcels and these are all going to the post office and i also have to take my uh, swabs to the doctors um i've definitely missed the morning deadline because it's obviously now afternoon but i'm gonna take them now and hopefully by next week they'll have the results so yeah that was an interesting experience I'm a, i was talking to you about my contraception but i can't remember if i told you that i have i had two giant cotton swabs to shove up my hoo-ha so <laughs> i did that the other day i just need to take them i thought i'd just show you as well i'm wearing my trainers like the sparkly ones that i wore to graduation and this was the best life choice i'd ever made loads of people were struggling in heels and like uncomfortable shoes and i had these on um, I got them from Debenhams, I think. I'll link them down below, or similar ones. All right, all my rubbish is in the boot. <sighs> Let's do this. Of course, it's been sunny all morning, right up until I have to leave the house and go outside. It's now tipping it down. Just got back in the office and I've finished editing the Harry Potter video. Wait, no, I've finished editing the Harry Potter photo I need to do the video but my mum has just come upstairs with some pasta what an absolute angel this is like my work break for the day it's currently half past one i'm gonna eat this and then i'm gonna sit on my office bed and i think i'm gonna edit the video over there and fingers crossed i'll get it up for today actually hello team good morning it is friday and i actually have my natural curls going on today it's a little bit frizzy but yeah i just slept on my hair last night and it's kind of curled all right i don't think this will last very long but because we're going to go ape tomorrow i didn't see the point in doing my hair because i'm probably going to get sweaty or rained on me and mum are going to pop to town today because i'm on a hunt for an outfit for somewhere in the city i ordered a dress on amazon which i do really like and i'm going to keep but i don't like it for the occasion <laughs> so we're going to go to town and hopefully find something i absolutely hate going to town i just 
I have zero patience with shopping. I'd much prefer to do it online, but clearly I'm not having much luck. I'm wearing this jumpsuit that I wore for the Pretty Little Thing event in London. I bought it from a little boutique shop in Box Park because I went to the event wearing jeans and like a silk top and it was like 30 degrees so I melted as soon as I got on the tube so I ended up panic buying this I think it was like 36 pounds which I wouldn't have usually spent on a jumpsuit but I got complimented on this twice that night and my mum loves it and it's really cute so ignore the pile of washing behind me I need to put that away this is the jumpsuit with the belt on I actually love it we're now out in H&M what have you found mum? two pound pair of shorts bargain <laughs> having a little girl shopping day and there's loads of sales stuff it's really nice i need to find something that's got long sleeves so i can wear it at somewhere in the city when i've had my implant taken out <laughs> we're in river island now and i found these they're like neon the camera's not doing them justice but they're like reflecting off my skin that's how neon they are it's like suit shorts and then they've got the jacket down there i actually love it but I'm just not tan enough to wear something like that. Imagine me wearing that to Sitsi. I think that's well cute. It's not going well. I've tried on a lot of different clothes and it's not, it's not going well. So now we're headed outside. We're gonna to go to Peacocks and Primark. And then if they fail, we're going to Matalan, Tesco and Asda. <laughs> Basically exhausting all shops in Doncaster today. We've come to Matalan. We've walked 10 meters into the door and found so many things, look. <laughs> I don't like them mum okay. but everything's really cool like every other shop we've been in all the prints are the same but Matalan seems to have some actual nice prints I want something that looks graphic-y like to reflect me look at this dress I think that's so cute I've got trousers that are like the similar stripes like just this design of this how cute obviously I need long sleeves so I've got to pick these trousers up and then they've got these ones that are like, co like these feel like pajama style. They're cotton. Yeah, we've just walked in the door and we've we've not even gone halfway down. Good morning, guys. So today we are going to go ape. Woo! I've got my GoPro all ready. First time I've used it. Very excited to get going. Are you ready? Yeah. We've got our harnesses on. We're both very muddy now <laughs> from falling in that that stuff. But at least it's not raining. That is good. Are you having fun? Raining. I'm having lots of fun. I'm having lots of fun. Can I go first this time? Yeah. Good morning, it is 
Sunday. We are very tired today. Yesterday was busy. After Go Eight, we went to a family barbecue and then we went to another friend's house for dinner um, and pudding. She made the best like Biscoff cheesecake. Oh my god, I could have taken the whole cake home, um, but obviously I didn't vlog like that. Now we are in town. I'm looking for some new sandals because my sandals broke. My trusty Primark sandals I've had for three years broke on Friday and I'm still mourning the loss. And I've still not found any that look the same. So I'm looking for sandals and we're in Costa. I've got a cheese toasty. What have you got? Panini. Panini. And I've got this strawberry lemonade. And oh my god, it's incredible. I've made great life choices today. I also have no makeup on at all. And I don't hate it. And that is the very abrupt ending to this week's vlog. I really hope you enjoyed it. As I said, please do let me know your meal deal of choice. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for another one.